cancer what's cracking lacking i hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome cancers out there are doing well so you guys we're about to get into this spread and see what it is that you need to know if anything happened to resonate don't forget to like share subscribe and comment right now i am running a special on my love reading so my on my readings okay so my love readings are 25 career money and finance are 30 and twin flame 35 if you just got a question for me we got one question for 15 Two for 25 and three for 35, okay? So all the information that I just shared with you, Cancer, will be in the description box below. So let's go on and get into this read and see what you need to know. All right, so we got you are so smart. You have figured me out, okay? So Cancer, you could have been dealing with someone who just thought, I'm going to tell you, okay, I feel like this person, one, they thought that they was going to pull a wool over your eyes, okay? Somebody here could have felt like you was just a simp. You know, that you never would have figured out their lies. You never would have figured out. Because I feel like this is a very deceptive energy, right? But she is, you very intuitive. Okay, my water babies. And I feel like you are able to use your intuition. <clears throat> excuse me. You were able to use your intuition when it came to this person, okay? So I feel like before this person tried to even feed you some bullshit, before they even tried to lie to you, cancel, you already knew the damn lie. You was telling this person what they was going to lie about before they lied to you. And I was never looking at you like, how the fuck did you know that, okay? So someone here, I feel like, feels you're smart as fuck, but I feel like they're scared of your intuition. It's like, like they like that you're smart, but at the same time, they don't like this shit because you're able to figure this person out, okay? For some of you, this is someone who's used to getting over on people, you know what I'm saying? But see, this is someone who was not able to get over on you like they did everyone else because you intuitive as fuck cancer and when it came to this person i feel like for some of you you were able to see right through their bullshit okay this is dealing with someone who was used to getting their way so you could have been dealing with someone who was spoiled or they was just used to people giving them what the fuck they wanted okay so this is someone who if they were asked you for something they expected you to go on and get it to them like it shouldn't be no questions asked like what you need that for what you gonna do with that like no cancer i need this and bam they just expect you to hand it over just like that okay but I feel like, Cancer, you have to check this person. And see, because see, this is someone that's spoiled. They used to getting their way. So however this person handled you, Cancer, they handled everyone like that, okay? I don't feel like this person just saw you and was just like, oh, I'm going to try to get one up on Cancer. I'm going to try to get over on Cancer. Now, I feel like this person, now they, I feel like they saw something in you because maybe you're quiet or, you know, this person just, I don't know. I just feel like they're the energy of however they treated you. This is just what they're used to doing to people they was like well shit i get over everybody else shit i can get over on cancer ass too but like i said you have to check this person you have to let them know like nah player you ain't gonna play me like that okay somebody thought they was really about to play you cancer but you had to fuck around and put this person in their place and let them know who you was okay you had to let them know who the real puff daddy was okay <laughs> All right, now some of you, this person could be going through a lot right now, okay? So I feel like this is someone that could be going through some financial issues. This can be emotional. This can be with family. This can be within their work or anything, okay? They're going through a lot. So I feel like this is the energy of someone who can be like on an emotional roller coaster. They can be kind of snappy, you know what I'm saying? Like got an attitude or whatnot. And they need some space and time to gather their thoughts. So someone here could have ghosted you cancer maybe this person start reaching out they start replying to your text and it's because they got a lot of shit going on in their life okay this could be you cancer maybe you got a lot of shit going on in your life right now you've had to separate yourself you know from family and friends and people that you used to deal with on a regular because you need time together your thoughts you know what i'm saying like someone here i feel like has a lot on their mind it's like you know they just go round and around every day of every day trying to you know figure this out but someone here, they like, okay, I need space to, to gather my thoughts. Just like get myself together here. 
We also have, I hate that I hurt you. You didn't deserve this. Please don't blame yourself. It was my fault, okay? So you could have blamed yourself for why you and someone didn't work out. You know, you was like, well, maybe if I wouldn't have did this or if I did that, you know, maybe you feel like you gave too much too soon, you know? But I feel like someone here has been reflecting and they're very regretful that they hurt you, okay? But they realize you didn't deserve it, okay? But none of this shit was your fault. So someone here wants to make it loud and clear that, you know, whatever these feelings that you're having, like none of this is your fault, okay? We got this five of cups energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Doesn't have to be, okay? So I pulled from my um, regretful divine masculine deck and I want to see what this person was regretful about because we got somebody who hanging down the head you know, and this is someone who I feel like they feel ashamed, they're regretful, they're remorseful, they feel bad about something that happened between you and them, okay? So for some of you, they regret listening to other people's opinion about this connection. So they could have been talking to family members and friends, you know, getting advice about, you know, what you think about me and cancer? What you, how you, what you, you know what I'm saying? You think me and cancer look all right? Or, you know, what you think about me going over there and trying to holler at cancer? Like, what, what you think that's going to be like? And people could tell them, oh, don't be fooling with cancel. You know, cancel do this, cancel do that. Or, you know, like, this is, these were people who were really hating on you. Cancel, I'm going to keep it real, okay? They were trying to make sure this person did not come towards you. But they listened to what other people had to say about this connection versus listening to their own intuition and doing what they felt was right, you know? This person ignored you. Remember I said you could have been reaching out to this person. You know, and they didn't, they didn't return your call. They didn't reply back to your message because they possibly were going through a lot and this person ignored you. Now, they don't give them the right to ignore you, Cancel. So I'm just saying, you know, if some of you guys have not heard from this person or they ghosted you all of a sudden, it's because they're going through a lot. They got a lot going on in their life. Now, someone here didn't see your worth here, okay? Because remember, this person feels like that you smart as fuck and you figured them out. So this means you had to check them. You had to let them know, like, no, nah, I'm not no film, you know what I'm saying, I'm not nobody you can just play, I'm not no, no Sega Genesis, no Nintendo, none of that, you know what I'm saying, you want to play with somebody, go play with your kids, go play with your dog, but don't play with me, you know, so you have to check this person, but guess what, because this person did not see the worth within themselves, so when you don't know your own worth, when you don't know how valuable or how much of a value or what you bring to the table, then you ain't going to see that shit in nobody else. You want to categorize everybody as the same. You know what I'm saying? You, this person was not able to see your worth. They weren't able to see anything about you because they didn't see it within themselves. They weren't able to love you because they didn't love themselves, Cancer, okay? So this person is very regretful because had they seen your worth, had they known their worth, even if they would have known them, this shit within themselves because they can't see this shit within you if they don't see it within themselves, okay? So someone here feels like if they had have known their own worth, then maybe things would have been better, you know, than what they were, okay? Or maybe this person would have treated you better. They would have handled you in this situation better, but because they did not know their own worth, they didn't know how to love themselves, neither did they know how to love you, okay? And for some of you, there was a third party involved, okay? And they chose this third party over you, okay? For some of you guys, shit, maybe they've been used to dealing with multiple men and, you know, multiple women. But when you came along, water sign, baby, you was like, oh, no, I ain't going for all of that, okay? What 2 chains say, I can't go for that. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, you was like, I can't go for that shit. Like, either you going to fuck with me or, or you can keep kicking rocks, you know what I'm saying? You going to be with me and deal with only me, you know, or you can't have me at all, okay? So remember I said someone could be going through a lot right now. They need space and time to gather their thoughts, okay? So we have the five of pentacles energy. Now, someone could be dealing with a Taurus, a Cancer. You can be dealing with a Taurus here. Doesn't have to be. Now, when you look at this card, y'all look at this person like they falling up on some hard times, okay? It could be cold, or this person feels left out in the cold, like they feel abandoned, like you just done forgot about them, okay? Somebody here got a sock on, they ain't got no shoes on right here. Like, this is someone who don't really feel up on some hard times and i feel like because of this because i'm gonna tell you what i'm picking up on with this five of pentacles here especially with this landing on i'm going through a lot right now and i need space whoever this person is that's in this five of pentacles energy i feel like this is someone who at one point in time they could have been up you know what i'm saying like they could have had money they could have had success they could have had wealth like money and shit was good for them okay but this gives me the energy of someone who blew through that because they got this rose-colored glasses, okay? So somebody, 
something happened to where they weren't able to see some shit. You know what I'm saying? They could have been given to other people or given to, you know, a person in one person in particular here. But I feel like they weren't able to see things for what they truly were. And this is why they feel up on these hard times. You know what I'm saying? It's these financial heartaches and shit that they're going through. And we also have this Ace of Wands. I feel like this person wants a brand new beginning with you, Cancer, okay, with this Ace of Wands. They desire you. They're, they have a lot of passion when it comes towards you or when it comes to you. You also could be seeing 111 or 1111, okay? This spring, Cancer could be very significant. There could be some type of brand new adventure, a brand new beginning that you're about to embark on that's going to bring in a lot of excitement. Now, remember, when you have these new beginnings, there can be trouble that's lurking around the corner as well, okay? You can be receiving some type of exciting news here. Or this talks about something or someone has sparked your attention or your attraction, okay? You could be drawn toward this person as well, okay? So some of you guys, my cancer singles, who have been single for a while, okay? If this is your situation that you dealt with, for some of you this spring, like I said, you can be embarking on some type of brand new passionate beginning, but y'all see the mountain in the background, okay? We also know that those mountains, those hills mean there's obstacles. There could be trouble lurking. So even though you're on a brand new beginning, that don't mean shit gonna be all fine and dandy here, okay? But I feel like with this cloud or this hand coming from the cloud, this brand new passionate beginning or this brand new, brand new beginning that you're about to embark is like a gift from God here, okay? All right, so let's see what signs you was dealing with, Cancer. We got Aries, Leo, Sag. We got Cancer, I mean, uh, we got Scorpio. And we also got Taurus. So let's see who this reading is about for my cancers. Anything resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, that information will be in the description box below. So you can be dealing with another cancer. We got Virgo, Aries, Aquarius. We got Pis heavy Pisces, Scorpio, Sag. Pisces, ooh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Gemini. All right, you guys, I love you, and it's, ooh, sorry, one more card. Let's go to the who did. Now, this, you guys, is going to be a description of you, or this can either be a description of your person, okay? You have to take the information here. You have to take the cards as it resonates for you, okay? Messages for Cancer. I love you, Cancer. Who is this reading about Holy Spirit for my beautiful and my handsome cancers? Who is this reading about Holy Spirit for cancer? Who is this reading about for cancer? I ain't taking all of these. Half of these fail. Hold on, y'all. Well, y'all, I guess I got to take all these. I was not planning on taking all these dogs on card. It's like, I don't know if y'all saw like half the damn dick, like literally jumped out of my hand. Let me make sure. I got all these up. Okay. So this could be a description of you, Cancer, or your person. I don't think I've ever had these many damn cards to describe a read or describe a person, okay? So this could be about someone who has straight teeth or they got pretty teeth. You know, they got that cold gay smile. This could be a, a female who has nice toned legs, go to the gym. You know, they don't ever miss leg day. This could be about a black male or a male who has waves here. This could be about someone who wears hoop earrings. We got small hands. This could be about someone who has dimples. And we also have average height male. And we have big eyes, okay? All right, you guys. So that's all I have. Cancer, if anything resonated, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, you guys, stay blessed.